is good everybody welcome back to another my name toys video today ladies and gentlemen we are back yet again with another fantasy booking style video today it is wwe hell in a cell 2021 which usually they run the pay-per-view at the end of the year i think they do it in october yeah, yeah, yeah the halloween's in october and the, and the halloween and the ghouls and the gibbies and the, the, the all the scary stuff the spooky stuff so hell hell in a cell october halloweeny demons and ghouls you get the idea there so they actually push it up this year i don't know why they did that um i mean i'm kind of glad that they're not doing just that cliche bs however it's still uh it's still watered down because these feuds don't call for hell in a cell matches and you know the gimmick pay-per-views are yeah, they are what they are i need to make a whole damn video about it brad but you know what here we are today fantasy booking this ish so, so far on this card, man, we only have five matches announced. We literally have five matches announced. We may add one or two more by the time Friday Night SmackDown comes around. And usually, I try to wait till after that to know some more matches and stuff. But here we are, you know, we're just going to run with it. And honestly, the card is kind of garb, okay? Like, I'd say outside of maybe two matches, I'd say the rest, I just don't, I don't care. You know, I don't care. I, it's just things we've seen before, things I really don't want to see at this moment. It's just, you know, eh. But I'm going to do my best to fantasy book it and everything like that so if you guys don't know how these videos work basically i'm in charge vince mcmahon come comes to me and he says mdt you're in charge whatever you say goes on this show you get to pick the winners where we go from here you know you get to tweak it a little bit let's go ahead and dive into it so i'm in charge brad the first thing that i'm gonna do is just sell the company i'm just kidding but seriously though let's dive into these matches so first up guys we do have three women's matches on this card actually so we got charlotte and Rhea. We got Bailey and Bianca. We got Baszler and Bliss. And then, of course, we have our two main championship matches. So starting out first, guys, we do have Alexa Bliss and Shayna Baszler. I honestly, like, I have not watched Raw in a minute. So I didn't even know these two were feuding. But I've heard god-awful things about this feud. I've heard, like, you know, people have been really crapping on this thing. So I couldn't tell you I haven't watched a single segment about it. However, I will say that I would have Alexa Bliss win. You know, I just think, uh, I'm not big on Shayna, first of all. But second of all, it's just, you know, she's not the same she was in any. NXT. I've never been a really big fan of her. I think that Alexa Bliss and this thing that she has going is more important to the show and it's a bigger aspect of the show. I would get her the win here and I would have her triumph over Baszler. I figure that Alexa Bliss will be champion soon in this gimmick and in this role. So I figure, you know, we got to build the stepping stones to that. Shayna Baszler is going to eat that pin and Alexa Bliss will win. Hopefully, you know, it'll toughen her, toughen her up in the ring, you know, change her style up a little bit. But Alexa Bliss, I would have her get the dub. Next up, guys, we have Bianca Belair and Bayley. Now, this is a matchup that I like. You know, these are two great women's wrestlers. We've seen them before. They're very good. Two of the best that the company has to offer, no doubt about it. And I'm sure this matchup will be no different it's not inside of a hell in a cell i think only the men's matches are hell in a cell but again just i honestly let's go ahead and loop them in here together because this is very important bianca and bailey and then charlotte and Rhea. you guys know we had our big moment where it was the wrestlemania 21 for the upcoming women's stars you know just like john cena batista we have bianca belair and Rhea ripley do the same thing here man continue their momentum you're beating two big time all-stars right here i'm gonna be real with you i'm very afraid of charlotte winning the championship i could totally see it happening but i'm gonna go this is my fantasy booking man i'm going bianca and Rhea over charlotte and bailey again these aren't predictions this is fantasy booking if i got to be in charge this is what i would do go ahead keep building it up not really a big fan of Rhea on the mic right now i don't like the way they've been having her talk and stuff however Rhea over charlotte bianca over bailey that's all you need to know brad that is that right there now if we get into our big time matchups here our two hell in a cell matchups let's go ahead and start off with Big Bob and Big Drew. So if you guys did not know, this is actually a last chance Hell in a Cell match. And basically what that means is if Drew McIntyre loses this, see at first I thought it was if Drew McIntyre loses, he doesn't get to he doesn't get to challenge for the championship again ever. Kind of like the, you know, the championship with Cody in AEW. However, a last chance Hell in a Cell match in this matchup, if Drew does lose, he cannot challenge for the WWE championship as long as Bobby Lashley is champion. I mean, I guess they're just kind of throwing that in there to make it you know kind of like an extra twist on it doesn't really add anything for me at least i think that 
I think that you might as well just keep it on Bobby. I think I would keep it on Bobby. I think that building towards SummerSlam, we got some epic stuff coming for us. So I think, so I think Bobby Lashley gets the win over Drew McIntyre. But again, we've said it multiple times, man, in these fantasy booking videos. We've said it multiple occasions. We've, we've claimed it. We've done all these things. You guys probably already know where I'm going for it, but you guys know the rumors for SummerSlam. You guys know what's up. I would have Drew McIntyre lose, have him move on to something else. I love Drew McIntyre, but I don't want to see this again. So I would have him lose, you know, take a back seat for a minute. I'd put him in the Money in the Bank matchup, have him go after that. Wouldn't want him to win it, but, I, you know, I'd put him in the matchup. You know, that'd give him something to do there. But out comes the beast, man. We're going to have Brock Lesnar come out and beat the holy hell out of Bobby Lashley. Now, the only reason that this would not happen is because we're still a couple months away from SummerSlam, and I don't think you would want... I feel like at Money in the Bank this would happen. You know what I'm saying? Because it'd be the next show, and I don't think Brock Lesnar would not want to be the main event. Unless him and Drew McIntyre do main event, then it could happen, but, you know, I'm running things. I'm, I'm booking this show, so I would have Brock Lesnar come out, F5 Bobby Lashley, you know, put him on the shoulders, get him up here, load him up, and freaking F5 Brad over the top of him, beat the hell out of him, Randy Orton style, setting up their match for SummerSlam, a matchup that we've been wanting for a long time. Bobby Lashley's wanted it for a long time. That is what I would have there. Now, as amazing as that is, Brad, we gotta move on to our main event, or the other side of it, where we have Roman Reigns, our Universal Champion, defending against Rey Mysterio. And, you know, Rey Mysterio, you guys know that Roman Reigns has pretty much just went through everybody, right? I mean, he's he's been on an absolute tear. He's, he's just destroyed everyone. Rey Mysterio is going to be the next little legend or big time name that he's going to take out right here. I expect a very fun match. I would love to see, you know, uh, Rey Mysterio hit the 619 and then go up to the top to go for, you know, like the like the sit down. I don't even know what he calls it. Like this kind of like a, like not a sit down Rana, but like a, you know what I'm talking about. Anyways, goes for that. Gets speared out of midair, just like Edge did to him in the Elimination Chamber. One, two, three, Roman Reigns retains. It should be a very fun matchup. Their styles, you know how uh, Rey Mysterio can put on a great match with a freaking paper bag. Roman Reigns is the most, you know, the best thing in wrestling right now. They're going to put on an epic classic, hopefully, you know, inside the cell to be good. You know, you could, he could throw Ray all around and Ray can climb up and down. Like, it should be a very fun matchup. So hopefully that will be the case. Roman can beat the hell out of Ray. One, two, three, match is over. Everybody's like, ah, yeah, of course, because Roman Reigns should not lose, right? He should not lose. That shouldn't be a thing. Shouldn't even be on the radar right now. So once Roman Reigns defeats Ray Mysterio, he's hoisted it up, you know, he's He's, uh, he's conquered another foe. I mean, there's nobody else on the SmackDown roster for this man to go through. He's already beat the hell out of everyone. Now, there's two scenarios that could take place. I don't think it's quite time for this, but I could see it happening because we do have one more pay-per-view between Hell in a Cell and SummerSlam. But I think the build for SummerSlam needs to be massive, so this is why I call for it now. Now, you could have Seth Rollins come out here, but, you know, he's still a heel. You know, he's still a heel. I don't think that it would fit the gimmick right there. Maybe he could win money in the bank and and, you know, turn in the middle of the match or something like that, or, I don't know, like, find his way. But I would have the doctor come out. You're probably like, the doctor? Yes. The doctor of Thugonomics comes out, and he takes out Roman Reigns. He appears out of nowhere. F you to the champion. And yes, it's the F you. It's not the attitude adjustment, because it's the doctor, alright? It's the doctor of Thugonomics. He comes out there, F you to Roman Reigns. It'd be really sick to see him F you him on top of the Hell in a Cell, and him fall through the Hell in a Cell. That would put Roman Reigns out, but that would probably probably make that would you know that would make it where John Cena couldn't compete at Money in the Bank setting up their matchup for SummerSlam so you could do something like that Hi, you know, that's not happening. But this is my fantasy booking video, damn it. So John Cena would return as the doctor, take out Roman Reigns, and challenge for the Universal Championship at SummerSlam. Brock Lesnar would challenge for the WWE Championship at SummerSlam. And there's your two big AF matches for our big, you know, our summer version of WrestleMania. You guys know how it is. Gotta make things big. But another thing that you could do is have Seth Rollins come out, attack Roman Reigns, and then setting up Money in the Bank again, Roman versus Seth, and then having... Uh, John Cena come out at the end of that matchup after Seth Rollins loses to Reigns there. So there's an option, but yeah, I don't, I don't know, Brad. John Cena, right here. Here's your money. But that pretty much wraps up my fantasy booking video of Hell in a Cell 2020. One, keep forgetting the year. But anyways, guys, let me know down below what you guys think of my fantasy booking video. Today's random shout-out is going to go to Robert Musgrove, who says, Mattel crossed the line when they took away most of the basics articulation and gave them those knee joints that feel like they're going to bust when you try to bend them. And I would agree with that, Brad. Absolutely. 
absolutely 100% agree with that because uh, if you guys missed my video from yesterday, definitely go check out what I said about the basic figure. See, tell me if you agree with me on what, you know, what they've become and everything like that. I would really appreciate it, but that is going to do it for my fantasy booking video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know what you think of my thoughts down below. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And don't cross the line like uh, this Hell in a Cell pay-per-view probably will. You cross the line. I've been beat